Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I will show you how to replace the serpentine belt on an Audi A6 from the year 2009 with a 2.7 TDI engine. As you all can see, here is my serpentine belt in the front of the engine and normally you won't be able to remove it and to work on the serpentine belt if you don't remove the front bumper and this is what we are going to do today. So to remove the front bumper you will have to remove all the clips, I will show you in a second where the clips are located, along with the headlights and along with the radiator and all of the other hardware. To remove this top plastic cover, you have you have to pull from it up and it will come out because it's only holding in by a few plastic clips. After that, as you can see, here my grill is broken and also the front bumper on this car, it's all, the, it's all broken and it's only holding in by a few zip ties. Okay, after that, moving to the sides, here normally you will have a screw, on this side is broken, but on the other side the screw is there and I will show you in a second how to remove it. After that you will have to remove the dust protection from the wheel and inside there you will also have a few screws which you will have to remove in order to remove the bumper. Okay everybody, moving on to the other side. Here it's exactly the same, you will have to remove the screws which are holding the dust protection onto its place and after that you'll have to remove the screws which are holding the bumper mounted onto the car. Remember we are doing this because we want to put the whole front end into the service position because if you don't to put it into the service position you won't have enough space to work on the serpentine belt and you won't be able to do anything related to the serpentine and to the timing belt from the front of the engine. Okay, here it's another 10 mm screw which you have to remove. This is my little cat. Okay, so to remove this little screw, you'll have to go inside here and you'll have to use a long extension. I think it's a 10 mm socket and then you will be able to remove it and remove the front bumper. On to the driver side, as I already told you earlier, the clip is missing from right here and we don't have to worry about it. And because of that, the bumper will come right out. Just look at this. Okay, to remove the bumper, you'll have to pull from the sides and it will come out very easy. Just make sure you disconnect the wires from the fog lights and from the sensors, if you have sensors, and after that you have to remove it completely from the car. Okay, moving forward, you'll have to disconnect this uh, air plastic tube and after that you'll have to disconnect the whole metal bar from the front of the bumper, from the front of the car. But first to disconnect this plastic, you'll have to pull it to the side and it will come out very easy. So this metal bar, it's holding in by two bolts on each side, you'll have to remove those two bolts and after that you'll be able to remove it completely from the car. Those are all the screws which you'll have to remove in order to have access to work on the serpentine belt. After that you'll have to remove the front headlight. This is one screw for the headlight, this is the other one and the last one is inside there. It's very easy to remove them so you don't have to worry about it. Okay everybody, so those are all the screws and nuts which you'll have to remove in order to release your front end. After you remove all of these screws, you can pull from the front end and if you want you can put something between the engine and the front end just to maintain it pulled forward and to make you enough space to work on the serpentine belt. 
as you can see, this is our serpentine belt. This is how it's looking on this car. And in order to remove the belt, you'll have to find the tensioner. And normally this is our tensioner, but let's say you don't know where the tensioner is. And in order to find it, you'll have to pull from the belt. And if you see that one of the rolls are moving, this is meaning this is your tensioner. So in our case, this is our tensioner. Okay, moving forward, as you can see, I installed a metal bar, this one just to maintain my front end pulled forward and to make me enough space to work on the serpentine belt. And now if you go here, you'll find this one, this, this little star and this little star, it's our key. You have to pull from this little star. You have to pull and install a special tool just to release the tensioner and release the serpentine belt. So it's right here, just to show you, it's right here located. The tool which you'll have to use in order to release the tensioner, it's a Torx 16, a T16. This one, this is how it's looking. Now I will try to put my camera in a place where you can see what I'm doing, because I want to show you exactly how to do it. So let's fit the Torx into the little star. And after that, in order to release the tensioner, you'll have to pull up from the tool. You'll have to pull to the right, more specifically. And after that, the tensioner will release the tension from the serpentine belt and you'll be able to remove it. I recommend it before doing all of this, I recommend it to take a picture of the serpentine belt just to make sure that when you're installing it back onto the car, you know exactly where everything is going. Okay, everybody, so from here, you just have to remove the entire serpentine belt from the engine. And just look at how worn out this serpentine belt was. I'm glad this didn't break while driving. From what I can see, this serpentine belt was almost destroyed completely. Just look at this. I think this is the worst that you can do to a serpentine belt if you don't replace it regularly and if you don't replace it when normally it should be replaced. Okay, moving on, let's show you the new serpentine belt and let's show you the code if you want to buy it. I choose to go with the gate. This is the code if you want to buy the exactly serpentine belt for your car. Okay, so moving forward, if you want to check if your guidance rolls and if your tensioner is bad or good, you have to spin it a little and from what you all can hear, those pieces in my case are good to go. They can be used very good, one more time at, at least. And now, before installing the new serpentine belt, I took a picture with my phone just to make sure that when I'm, when I'm installing it, I will install it into the correct position. This is why I recommended you to do before removing it. And from here, let's install the new serpentine belt onto the engine.
Okay, everybody, so I just finished reinstalling the new serpentine belt onto the engine. Make sure you install everything correctly. Just double check it to see if everything is working properly and if it's mounted how it should be normally. In my case, everything is perfectly. I will start the engine to check if everything is good and after that I will put everything back together and that's it. Okay everybody, this is all you have to do in order to replace your serpentine belt at home on an Audi A6 from the year 2009, 2.7 TDI engine. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.